Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall Cortana from your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to actually show you guys how to both uninstall and as well as reinstalling it. So the first scenario we're going to assume is you have Cortana on your computer and we're going to go remove it. So process is actually pretty straightforward and in order to do it you're just going to go ahead and open up the start menu. And I would actually recommend creating a system restore point first so if you don't have one I'd recommend typing in system restore. And then I'm going to select create a restore point right above control panel. So I'm going to select that option here. I'm going to select configure. We're going to turn on system protection and then we're going to create a restore point. Let's go ahead and name it today's date. You can name it whatever you want, doesn't really matter, but I would suggest creating a restore point, especially given what we're doing in today's tutorial. Definitely going to be modifying some Windows files here, so it's just better safe than sorry, I like to say. And restore point was created successfully. Close it here. Select OK. And now we're going to go open up the star menu, type in PowerShell, Best match to go back of Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now, in order to remove Cortana, we're just going to paste in this command I'm going to have in the description of the video. This will remove Cortana for all users on the computer. So just copy that. And then, once it's in your clipboard, go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select Edit and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a couple moments to run so please be patient. And once that's done you will need to close out of here and then you will need to restart your computer. Okay, so now that you are back, Cortana should be disabled on your computer, and if you try to talk to Cortana or try to navigate with Cortana, it shouldn't actually do anything at this point. So now if you want to re-enable it, you want to go open up the Start menu, and type in Windows Store. Best match to come back on Microsoft Store, so I suppose you could type that in instead. I'm just used to calling it the Windows Store, but you know, the search results bring back the same result. And we're going to do the search field up at the top here, and we are going to type in Cortana, and we're going to search that. The best result will more than likely be the first result here. It should say free, and it should be an app, so go ahead and left click on that. Now we want to make sure we're getting the official Cortana here, and it should say Microsoft Corporation, so make sure it's a Microsoft Corporation app. And this will install for the local user account, so you will have to do this for other accounts as well if you wanted to reinstall it. So again, this is just for reinstalling it. It's already been removed, but let's say we're going to install it here. So select the Get button. Please keep in mind that even if you do remove it, there is a chance that it will come back at a later date. Microsoft has a way of re-enabling things with future Windows updates. They've done that on several occasions, especially with Windows 10. So just keep that in mind, but this just kind of puts it in perspective here. So this will take a little bit of time to download. Again, it's a pretty straightforward process. I don't know if I'm going to bother everyone here waiting for this to finish installing and then restarting our computer. But once this is downloaded, we would just restart our device and then Cortana should become re-enabled. So the fact that it's moving along pretty quickly here, I think we're going to just wait until it's finished installed. So you can see it says the product is installed. 
check it out. We're going to go select the launch button and it should launch Cortana. And keep in mind as well, they definitely do push their Microsoft account, so you might have to sign in to continue, like we can see here. I'm all about those local user accounts, so I really have no use for Cortana anyway, so it doesn't even work for me in, in my day-to-day -day life, but that's okay. I just like the local user account. I don't like signing in with an email. That's just me, though. But anyway, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.